And I realized that these various anomalies, these strange phenomena, all centered around what you're talking about, Candace, the, the brain consciousness connection, like what's the origin of consciousness. And I realized that I had a worldview, which is very much in alignment with the mainstream scientific perspective, which is that our capacity for experience, some would call that consciousness, our subjective awareness, that consciousness that we all have at this very moment comes from the brain, meaning there's a lot of chemical and electrical activity up in your brain, and then consciousness pops out of it somehow. The, the challenge with that perspective, and it's actually known as the hard problem of consciousness, Science Magazine has called this uh, the number two question remaining in all of science, which is that consciousness is not a physical thing. Like I can't touch my consciousness. I know I have it because I'm having an experience, but I can touch my chair, that's physical. My leg is physical, brain is physical, it's made out of matter, and yet consciousness is not physical. And what scientists don't understand is how could something non-physical